It is Newsday Tuesday again. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? I have some pretty cool stuff for you. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you why my automatic 1111 is saving the images into folders by date. So check that out. Chill out. Make out. Well, maybe buy me a coffee first. I've actually a page for that now. Here's the first news. Italy has banned chat GPT. That's pretty extreme. It is over the concerns for privacy, but also age regulations, which is kind of strange because I didn't think that ChatGPT was any way of saucy or anything. Even the Italian minister thinks it is a little bit over the top. Read this Reuters article below my video. Next, I have a shout out to the YouTube channel Prompt Engineering for a pretty cool trick to create consistent characters. They look similar or the same with stable diffusion, also possible in Automatic 1111. So what he's doing is simply giving the character a name. When we look here in Automatic 1111, I'm using the name Hannah Mitchell. You probably want to avoid star names because then maybe the image of the star is popping up. Something that's different from well-known names out there. Here you can see some examples and I would say that works actually pretty good. Now let's get to the next news here by the NVIDIA AI Research. This is about creating 3D objects with the help of AI. As you can see in this example, it not only generates the object for you, but also the texture of the object. And the results are very stunning, really beautiful. A cool thing here is also that this is not just a point cloud. It is actually a 3D shape even though right now it is kind of low quality and also the texture is kind of low resolution, but still the results for this early research is pretty amazing. And one thing that this AI can also do is that it can morph between different shapes. For example, here from a car of this kind of rally looking car to this kind of off-road truck looking car so that you can adjust the shape that you want to have. Of course, you also have text guided shape generation, for example, a rusty car or a taxi, and it's actually creating these with the texture. And of course, that is very important because the shape alone without the texture doesn't really help you to create 3D worlds with the help of text generation. And I know this is what you really want. Photoshop has also added a new AI tool. They call them neural filters, and this one is about fixing old photos. Now it can't fix everything in the picture, but it can do some pretty cool stuff. So the way to use this is to first of all, open an image, select the layer of that image, go to filters and to neural filters. When this has opened up, the lowest part on the list here says photo restoration. Now you might have a cloud icon to that. You need to click on that to download and install it. it might take a minute or two. Then you want to turn this on and it will already have some elements here set up for you. But there's also a scratch reduction. You want to set this to a very high value. I found most cases it needs the highest value you can get. And in most cases, this will work pretty well. Now with some images, I had an error where it says it is temporarily shut down. So it doesn't really do anything. If you don't get any results, check for this message up here. And also you can see it only reduces sketches, improves the image a little bit and makes the face nicer. But these bigger patches here on the sides, they are not filled, which is really strange because Photoshop already has content aware fill. Why they didn't add that? I don't know. But when you have here the before and the after, I would still say that the results are pretty amazing. The next news I have for you is Auto GPT. Now, what this is, is not a general AI. What this is, is automation of an AI. So here in this example, what's happening is that plugins are used with GPT-4 so that information can be searched on the internet, can be sent to GPT-4, and then the AI can work with the data. In this example here, the idea is to search for the next upcoming holiday and then create a cooking recipe with the help of ChatGPT that fits the theme of that holiday. That is output as a text. And of course, you can then put that out to, for example, a 
blog, a newsletter, a YouTube video. Now think a little bit bigger about that. For example, you're searching for a trending hashtag and then it's creating a video or a blog or a tweet for you or maybe just creating a haiku for the next upcoming hashtag on Twitter. That is pretty amazing and it's all automated. The last news today is a shout out to Two Minute Papers, an amazing channel for AI research. This research is called AlphaFold AI by DeepMind. Now this is about research. You might have heard about protein folding, which is used in a lot of applications, for example, medical research to develop new drugs. It's also used in evolutionary biology. It's used in material research. So a lot of these things are very important. And as you know, we all know these kind of Marvel movies where the genius is going into the lab and then coming out two hours later with a drug against the illness that is threatening the planet. Maybe this can bring us a step closer because this AI can do research that will take years in a lot shorter time. And that is really amazing. So the future is looking golden, my friends. Now let's look at my trick for automatic 1111. So when I go into my output folder, as you have seen yesterday, everything here is sorted by date. And a lot of people ask in the comments, how do you do that? Well, here is the thing. You go into automatic 1111 into the settings. You want to look for saving to a directory and you want to make a check mark by save images to a subdirectory. Then you want to write here the square bracket date and then closing square bracket for the directory name pattern. There's also other things you can write in there, but date will create a folder per day and that will make it a little bit easier for you to sort your generation or maybe delete the saucy things you did yesterday before your mama finds out. Okay, <laughs> have a nice day and see you soon, my friends. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.